yeah, yeah. Boom on this like Metro, groupies on me, that's fine, don't sweat those. Been on keeping my head strong, my dog, I ain't talk about Petco. Brand new ones, they retros, live fast, die on set my headstone. Stop being grown, you ain't get money, been frank in the friend zone. Got, got, I ain't never switched up with a family. Never be talking to net at me, gotta watch my wrist, that's classy. I'm a doctor, with she nasty. Send a bunch me, my mama proud she had me. Can't let nobody surpass me. I move to the back like an athlete. Got a little buzz, but these niggas don't chance me. Just take a look at my rap she Independent, many so can't stand me. Won't stop till I got me a Grammy, a crib with a leg and a whip for my granny. I ain't never had me no plan B. Look at me now, got a problem, get at me. Hunted by drainages. If it's aimless, ain't a single thing that can change it. I'm changing it. Get your dollar straight and circulate. Then gang with it. Aim for your partner, pocket and pop. That's dangerous. If you aim with it, you throwing off the vibe, vibe, vibe. And I don't got time for that. It's all about the vibe, vibe, vibe. All oh, that I got time.
is the reason why I'm gonna keep it inside All that I see is a line We got a fit That's a drip She in my wrist That's a freezer Give me a sister Give me teamwork Keep it consistent For the distance We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking... Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Rodgers setting up the screen for Cook. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door to them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. 
First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short. Of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. to the ground this time Cook and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion uh, didn't get it by much but bottom line got the first down avoiding that three and out how vital is that on the first drive to me it's like the first round of a boxing match you know it may not mean much right then and there but you'd rather not lose it right so you want to go ahead and get it kind of establish something early and hope it can carry through they run again on first down, Cook. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options. But when they read their keys and play it correctly, Sometimes the result goes in their favor. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. 23 yards to pick up there. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Cook on the toss left. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. This ball tipped and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Looks like that in just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. to the 36 to pick up the first. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Here's Rodgers. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? 
So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. And Cook will get in. He's got a Jets touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And no return on this one is the fair catch. A single four and take it. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their own 25-yard line. 73, 73. Hey. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. That's a love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. They go play action with Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Jets will take over. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The score, Jets 7, Eagles nothing. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. 
Throwing now is Rodgers. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Here's Ward to return. There he goes, right side. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And that jumps the excitement level up a few notches, doesn't it? What a big-time punt return for a touchdown. Now their cohorts on the special team side, they've got to add the PAT. That would be the equalizer. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and ten. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try it for some bigger yardage. Rodgers directing traffic, going to change the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The defenses get to the quarterback that quickly. A lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Rodgers now to throw. And complete right side to Cook. And he is going to have a Jets first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. This is Lazard with a catch out left. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Cook up the gut. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. 
Now Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first down, Rodgers. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Handoff, running left, here's Hall. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Rodgers going to throw. And this is Cook with a grab. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Will score. Touchdown, New York. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Zerline now for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Out, out, out. 
Here's Hurts to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Quinnen Williams, a sensational effort by him, and that is one of the biggest losses you'll ever see on a sack. Great, 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 set. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. line this Philly offense set to go Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively virtually nothing in the ground attack either so certainly something has to change here in quarter three and I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys the stop troops they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game now they got some time the running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to his left. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. On play action, it's Rodgers. This one finds Wilson downfield. That goes for a gain of 31. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Hey, 88, 88, 88. 
They'll give to Hall. And he's going to be met at about the 43. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with the third and three. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Rodgers. Able to find Lazard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Rodgers throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. To throw, it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Ah! They'll run with Hall. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. One more time with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. No, oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away.
And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Play action. Here's Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Swift. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field, downfield. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he stopped immediately there. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So Rodgers will depart and on his Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. 
A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle them inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. That was a good effort there trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Hurts. That's to the speedster Olamide Zacchaeus. Now they got to get to the line quickly. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift from three yards out. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now, a little bit of space there for Cook that time as he winds up getting about seven there on first down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. Mr. Clay the Magician with the greatest of 
Drizzy Drakes and Wheezy's, Andres and Jiggers, Pac Biggie and Nas, Face Mob, Easy and Raekwon. It's easy to say these things looking for clout, but this is non-fiction. The proof's in the pudding, it's non-missing. You and your opinion, you can stick that up your... I jumped to touch the sky and landed on planet Uranus. Houston, we got a problem. No need to look for solutions. I'm stacking Eisenhower's. Deceased presidents in the wall in my residence as I increase stepping on balling forever while kissing the sweet melanin of a broad that I met in the Netherlands. Address me as Marcus Clay, the developing veteran. That's why I got no time to sleep. I gotta creep the late night to get this cake to bake right. I'm thinking real estate licenses. I've seen multiple moments of indecisiveness. I got scars on my back that resemble tiger slits. When it's all said and done, I'll be one of the greatest you know the only one left like a by the uno but who knows what the future holds my moving stupid most of you do it for the internet and i'm not into that and that's the disconnect comparing me to these rappers is disrespect who's the best mc cole kendrick and me We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Jets. Zerline set to get us started here, and off we go from MetLife Stadium. No run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. First down, Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. And he is going to lose yardage here. Throwing his hurts. He's going deep for Brown. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, 53 yards. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Elliott Good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. Oh. 
Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. So call that a 56-yard punt with a return of about 11. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. I have to be thrilled with that first drive that got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. They'll get this out wide to Penny. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Inside handoff, Penny. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jerk from his legs. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Second down, here's Hertz. Pass the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. He comes right back and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Hurts completing this one quickly. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end for Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 0. Are you worried at the. And this is going to be intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Get it gone in the blink. Stress money. We can make a from the same money. He can make a call if he tweet. Breath money. I can make a ball when I speak. Breath money. Brother used to hide a hundred honey. The hashtag partner used to bust a couple scams off a of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands cause of that. We don't give a our Uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the money in the middle, middle. Boy, I just solved the riddle for this pound cake hey. giggles. Now I see fiddle all around me. Hey. Little, my head was on a swivel. swivel. He was pushing a rental. a rental. Ain't it coincidental? Oh, he ain't really talking money. Who he talking to? Homie, hop it. Need a they awesome. I can charge a band to get a glimpse of what I'm about to do. They be talking to every about what they ought to do. Yeah, I ain't tripping off of nothing. My name is Topic Discussion. Topic if discussion. I give them attention, they all would probably start blushing for that. Power and hunt is the only thing that I'm crushing, crushing on. Bonafide, still on everything that I stepped on. I can get on. it gone in the blink. Stress money. We can make a from the same Money. He can make a call if you tweet. Black money. I can make a ball when I speak. Black money. Brother used to hide a hundred money. The hashtag partner used to bust a couple scams off of Snapchat. Shorty trying to come up on the bands because of that. We don't give a f to Uncle Sam if you ask that. Where the cash at? They couldn't see me coming with binoculars. Even if they did tell me who the f was stopping us, the options keep popping up. Cops trying to lock us up. When it's out the picture, but it ain't no Diddy cropping this. Sorry, y'all. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Rodgers going to come out throwing. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. It's Sidney Brown with it. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. This went out quickly to Watkins. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Jets are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Second down and eight. On play action, Rodgers. Able to complete this one to Tyler Coughlin. A gain of 32 that time. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Up the middle, it's Cook. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys, let's keep it going. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and three. First carry for the Iowa State man, Bruce Hall. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. down here's the run with cook and he'll get what he can up the middle three yards and that'll bring up second down yeah i don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Yeah, yeah. On second down, it's Cook again. About three yards there to the 27. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Rodgers now to throw. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn Find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. We saw that indeed picking up the first. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. 
They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Kind of fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. You've got to make sure you hit it just right. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Hey, 73, 73. First carry for DeAndre Swift. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. King, field, King. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's got his man, it's the tight end Goddard. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 27-yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a five-yard pickup that time on what will wind up being the final play of the... The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And now lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. 
Paulo Vieira! Paulo Vieira! On third down, here comes Swift. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A seven-yard game. That's another Eagles first down. Here's Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Elliott good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they had that one sniffed out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Cook up the gut. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. That's good for a jet first down, a gain of 13. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he gets us down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there and a jet first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Cook following the penalty. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 
This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. He handed it off there, but I don't really know if he would have kept it or tried to do anything else if it would have mattered. Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage. There's just too many bodies to maneuver. And as a result, now they're looking at a fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll look to throw here. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 59 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Now that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. 
Smith catches left side. And yeah, he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we'll see what they want to do. 45 seconds is all that remains until the break. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. On play action, it's Rodgers. Going to look deep for Wilson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Rodgers going to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Rodgers. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. Oh, and his early 
these struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. at the line this Philly offense set to go and they do trail but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it and that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game no but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline second down here's Hertz quick slant here to Smith that good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Oh, it's over, right? On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and five. 63, 63, 63. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Throwing his hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 35. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now a give right side Swift and able to get this to the 31. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 31, here's second and six. Tiger Swamp, Tiger Swamp. Crowd left yet. Crowd left yet. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Cross Watkins, 31 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything 
differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The Jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 94 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Once again, it's Swift. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the forward. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. Quez Watkins with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in the game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. Elliott now to kick this one away. No, no, no. 
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And how about the quick feet there as he made a man miss on his way to a solid gain of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now a play fake. Rodgers. He'll buy some time right. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On play action, Rodgers completes it to Hardman. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On play action, now Rodgers. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson, 33 yards. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10 tackle on that play by Quinnen Williams. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as the tackle made up near the 35. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 44-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. From the 43, here's a second and nine. From the gun, here's Swift. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me to that deep water now. Win probability index, 
This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team is playing, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Second down, but this time it's incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a gain of 17 yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Rodgers again now. Going up top. And incomplete on the deep ball. That's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. They'll try again here. Second and 10. Back to throw, Rodgers. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Rodgers. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that's probably going to take a miracle at this stage. If they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Now Rodgers got to have this one. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Here's first and ten. They'll try the middle with Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Here comes second down. To throw is Rodgers. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 73! 73! 73! 
We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. That one looks like he'll throw here. Open man has got it to tight end. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. Right, right, right. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Delta. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42 yard line. 10 yards is the pick up there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Flush to his right. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. So it's the Eagles who get the win here. And the guy who really led the way was their quarterback, CD, and that's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he was instrumental in earning this victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.